Hello. Hello, everybody. This is Faris Al Hajri, PhD. I am presently in Virginia from our office, Hakwa Wanes. For the, last, uh, for the past five years, we've been here in Virginia to pursue our strategy plan for in the industry of the wellness industry and to, to achieve uh, our goals, our mission. This topic, we wanted to actually to have our own definition of disease. This is based on our experience for the last 13 years since we discovered Hakwa Revitalized Therapy, the hot water therapy, we are already a volunteer, including my entire family, and many followers, many followers, who voluntarily have decided not to take medication by their own, by their own self, voluntarily. And we are part of that. And so we came to realize that we need to uh, define disease. So this topic, actually, with the title disease, I mean, it's fallacy and verity. So by taking the definition of a disease, for example, from the medical dictionary, a disease is, definite, is defined as a definite pathological process having a characteristic set of signs and symptoms. And going to the National Center for Biotechnology Information of the National Library of Medicine of the United States, they've defined disease, the mention, they say, definitions of health and disease have been greatly influenced by social cultural viewpoints. Medical definitions of the disease state are lacking or insufficient. This is very important. Lacking or insufficient. An attempt is presented to separate core or primal from conditioned disease. So these controversies to not be able to identify the definition of a disease so we wanted to, to, to highlight that disease is not what people think about it. We came to understand that since your body has its own innate ability to self-healing, self-protection, self-maintenance, that's according to osteopathic medicine, and with our 13 years, we already endure ourselves with this therapeutic benefits of the aqua revitalize, hot water revitalize. So we came to, to identify, to, to define disease as a disease is an abnormal function, abnormal function of the human body resulted from lack or depletion of one or more of its body's essential fuels. So we'll come to that later on. What are these body essential fuels? And we coin them as the four essential elements of life. The feel, F-E-E-L. Impeding its innate ability to self-healing, self-protection, and self-regulation. So the moment the human body is depleted from one or more or all of these feel, four essential elements of life, the body's fuels, natural fuels, that's the time where the body starts to malfunction. So a disease, I want you first to put in your mind to understand that when you get sick, when you're diagnosed with so-called disease, immediately build into your brain that this is not a disease. This is something wrong with my body, and I need to respond to my body. Let's go to that, to the next slide, to show you a glimpse. Take an example of uh, the a vehicle, take any, anything that is a human made, a machine, and so on. So we wanted to here to, to just take an example of a vehicle because multiple fuels the vehicle relies. So a vehicle has been invented by who? By human. And a vehicle, since it's been invented by human, then 
all the fuels that to maintain the vehicle to run efficiently are human made. So we call these fuels the, artif the, the artificial fuels. So take an example. So we coined them, all these fuels under one name, fuels, the car fuels. So number one, the engine coolant. Two, engine oil, power steering fluid, the brake oil, transmission oil, and so on. So if, if the vehicle, irrespective of the brand of the vehicle, if you do not do regular maintenance, you do not make sure that the minimum level of the one of the fuels is, it, it, you maintain the minimum level. So if the vehicle runs off one of the fuels, for example, there is no power steering fluid, your vehicle run out of power steering fluid, you cannot drive that vehicle. Or brake oil, or engine coolant, or engine oil, or transmission oil, you cannot drive that vehicle, it's impossible. So that the performance of the vehicle relies on how you maintain it and you make sure that all these fuels are completely, you know, be above the minimum range. But as we said, the vehicle is a man-made. It's not, it's not created. It's a man-made. So it relies on artificial man-made fuels. Now, let's go to human body. A human body, you are not a man-made human. You are not created by human. You are not manufactured by human. You are a completely supernatural body that's been created. So what is happening is that when we, we think that we fall sick, we go to a physician or a doctor and they diagnose us. So the physician's job is to diagnose, to find the complexity of your problem. But the moment you start to build that, to think that you have a disease, then you start to rely on man-made, man-made fuels. So man-made fuels that here, usually what we take. We take the pills, we take medications, drugs. Then that's where something goes wrong. So we don't solve the root cause of the problem. We solve only the symptom. So we need to find out the root cause. The root cause is, as we mentioned, is when your body is depleted from its natural fuels, essential fuels, essential fuels. They are particularly these four essential fuels, exactly, particularly, strictly, water, oxygen, hydrogen, and energy. That's all. So if your body is depleted from water, our entire body is made up of 75% water. So if you have low volume of water, say for example 40%, you will die. You will die. You cannot, you need to maintain that minimum amount of water, the volume by volume, 75% of your body is water. So on with the oxygen, so on with the hydrogen, and so on with the energy. These are the four essential elements of life. That's the time, the root cause is that, you need to find the root cause, is that you are depleted. And how to, how to reverse, how to maintain the fuels? I want you to concentrate here with me. Aqua, and aqua denotes to hot aqua. And aqua is a Latin word, means water, so hot water. Simply because water is form of, uh, I mean, composed of two molecules, uh, hydrogen, and one molecule, oxygen, H2O. So when it's hot, then you have what? Energy added. So it's a water, oxygen, hydrogen, energy. Let's go to it. Four essential elements of life. The fuel. Bo oh, we, we, call, we can say the body's essential fuels. Water, oxygen, hydrogen, and energy. So simple. Why? 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 It just... Why would, would you think about any other elements? For the reason that you and every human being, there is no any exemption. The moment you are formed in the womb of your mother, you are created. You are not uh, made. Remember here, you are not made. You are not a human made machine. You are not crea created by men or by human. You are created, been created. So 
You can say created by God, we created I mean, you are created. You're in a create you're in a super intelligence machine that's been created, body that's been created. The human body. So which is composed of the body and soul. So the moment you are formed in the womb of your mother, your cell, when it starts with one cell to grow exponentially until the time you were born, it relies on so-called the amniotic fluid. And amniotic fluid is purely hot water. We, in a several uh, presentation we mentioned, we highlighted that amniotic fluid is very clear. Go to Google and check. What is the temperature of the water, of the, of the amniotic fluid? What is the percentage of the water? It's 99% water. The temperature is 37.5 degrees Celsius or 99% something, or 102, 102 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is hot, not cold, not warm, not boiled, not iced. It's hot water, simply just to provide this fill. And since you are, the moment you come to life, then you're disconnected. So we highlight the importance of maintaining the four essential elements of life to understand that when you, call, when you feel sick, don't call it a disease. Don't say, I have a disease. It's just an abnormal function of your body that you need to fix the root cause of the problem. The new body will fix itself by itself, since it has its own innate ability to self-healing, self-maintenance, self-regulation, according to osteopathic medicine or the American Osteopathic Association. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day, beautiful world. We appreciate taking your time to listen to our video and uh, please subscribe and share to your loved one and your connections. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.